In this video, me and my brother are going to be building a luxury doghouse that we can tow with our bikes. This is going to be the base to our dog hauler. This whole video started when my brother and I were at Goodwill and we found this bike trailer for seven bucks. Dude, look, the weight limit's 100 pounds. No, so this thing can actually handle a dog, no problem. Our first step was to take off all the fabric because we had no use for it. Oh, this is perfect! Luxury dog hauler, here we come! Then we added steel reinforcements where we could mount the hitch. We've taken this hitch off the old bike camper and we're going to use it on our dog hauler. The hitch is what connects this dog hauler to the bike, so we bolted it into the steel bars we just welded. Oh my god, dude, look at this. Let's hook it onto the bike real quick. Our first step has to be to put a good base we can build everything on top of. And because we need this to be as light as possible, we decided to cut 2x4s in half to do all our framing out of. So my dog's gonna be about 80 pounds, and we're gonna see if my bike can handle this by putting Colby on it. Colby weighs 180 pounds, so if the bike can handle you, dude, it should be able to handle the dog. So we're gonna go test it out. Oh wow! Go ahead. Oh man! Holy crap! It worked. Our second step is framing. This doghouse is going to have four walls slanted back for aerodynamics and to give it a luxurious look. Obviously we don't want the dog to get hot so we bought this thing for like 50 bucks at Lowe's. Just turn this thing on and it's gonna pump nice cool fresh air into the doghouse. Nice, dude. All right, so this is our new secret of building things. If you, if you go on Facebook, you can literally get a ton of bus windows for free. Nobody wants these things. So we have a huge stockpile of just bus windows. Whoa, dude. <laughs> this is beautiful. After the window is in, we then did electric. This thing is going to have lights on the inside, outside, and a working fan. All our wires ran down to a plug underneath the camper so we could power everything with the small inverter, which means we can have power anytime we want, even on the road. For now, our electric is done. The next step in this process is to put the walls in on the inside. Then we're gonna move on and get the sheathing on the outside and make it pretty and closed off. It's really funny, we're building this epic dog house and I don't even have my dog yet. I have to wait six months until he's born. And dude, I think having a dog is gonna help a ton with my mental health. Dude, that's so nice. That's perfect. Wow, let's screw her in. Yeah, ever since I've had a mind, I've struggled with mental health. I think it's one of those things that gets overlooked and we just think it's going to get better and improve, but it never really does. That's why this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Dude, this dog house is going to look amazing. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed, experienced therapists to help with a wide range of issues. To get started, just answer a couple questions about your needs and preferences in therapy, and BetterHelp will match you with the perfect therapist. Something I really like is you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's call, text, or video chat. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you.
And if you get paired up with a therapist that you decide is not the right fit for any reason, you can get a new one for no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you'll get the same professionalism and quality you expect with in-office therapy, but with a therapist who's custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and a more affordable price. If you're like me, and you've been thinking about doing this for a while, consider this a sign to do it. You can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash President J. And I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description where you guys can check them out. The next step in the process was to attach pegs to the sides of the roof to hold up the soffit and fascia board we are going to install later. All right, now that we got these little pegs up that are gonna hold the fascia board, we're going to start putting the siding on. Since this whole thing's pretty solid as is, on the sides, we're going to use foam. It's gonna keep everything light, tie it together, make it waterproof, and just look really good. Dude, nice cut. Thanks, man. After we cut the foam, the next step was to put trim on the inside. And then, of course, we had to stain the ceiling. We're about to make it beautiful. Next, we began to put the soffit on that we mentioned earlier. On a house, this stuff is meant to ventilate the attic where it won't get too hot. On this, it's purely for looks. And oh man, it looks good. This luxury doghouse was starting to come together. Every time we build something, I'm just amazed at how important the final touches are. these wheels black because black wheels look better. For our trim, we're actually going to use metal left over from our micro camper build. And you might be thinking metal, not a good idea because it's heavy, but this stuff is so thin that all of it together is probably gonna weigh two pounds.
is our mobile dog house. Right here, if you look, we have a functional window that pretty much looks like a glass wall. So whenever we're hauling a dog around, we can just roll this down, he can stick his head out the window, have the best time of his life. The exterior walls are made of foam, super light, plenty durable, surrounded by metal trim, so it's very, very tough. Up here we have a soffit with can lights that are actually adjustable. Here we have a waterproof floor that's actually super light, so if there's any accidents in the camper, it's perfectly fine, easy cleanup. Again, the window can roll down. We have two can lights right here. Everything is controlled by the switch right there. And then the other switch controls the soffit lights. We have two exhaust fans and they're multi-directional, which basically means they can blow air out or suck air in. Then at the front, we have a gooseneck hitch that we made that just connects right up to my bike. In theory, our dog camper was perfect, but what we really want to know, do dogs like it? Oh yeah, dude, look at that. Perfect. Come on, come on. Oh, good girl. Good girl, yes. Yes, now, yes. shut it in. There you go. Good girl. All right, let's see how she does, dude. On your feet, this is a shakedown. Order up that beat just like a shakeout. Dude, she's doing it. Look at her in there. She's laying down. And you can rock and roll with the attitude. So good, so fresh, just the way you like it. This makes me super excited to get my dog because I literally take this route on my bike almost every single day. To be able to bring her with me is the coolest thing. This thing is awesome! We're going 25 miles per hour, no problem! Everywhere you go, you bring the roof down. Everybody knows you got your own sound. So good, so fresh, just the way you like it. All done.